Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel Ernie's Casino Camp USA. Today guys is May the 31st and I remember back then that I my first video that I took in my garden was March 10th or 11th. And today I'm going to show you guys what's going on in my garden. Finally after two months so there you go let's go get started so what's going on in my garden today so as you can see it's a big difference from last march the 10th when i took the first video so from here i have some wild plants which is edible too those are salad I have some marigold I'm adding some flowers on my garden to attract some of the butterflies or the bees and the other uh, flying bugs and I have some green beans salad leafy vegetables some spinach and also radish plants I have used some of it as you can see there's already have bulb on the radish and some cilantro look at that cilantro there it's really growing so badly there's more over there they're just spread all over in my garden and i'm so grateful for that because i can use uh, every now and then for my vegetables in the, for the kitchen wise to use and then that area are okra i just put some cups on the little plants uh, just to um keep them moist and also keep away from the birds they really like the baby okra plants i have also some zucchini they're still a little tiny tiny plants but I'm really excited they're going to once they are growing um getting bigger and mature and uh, also some winter squash i have few and uh, they're still tiny plants as of now but soon after four months or not four months four weeks they're gonna bloom and some snoopies as you can see i have some flowers of my snoopies and there you go guys that's my go and going garden today and that's my potato in a fabric pot and let's go ahead get inside in my tiny garden i'm just gonna show you what i have inside see this one is thyme herbs i transplant that from the pot to the ground and it has a flowers already those are cucumber i have only two cucumber this one is winter squash they're still tiny but i'm sure sooner it's gonna bear some squash so i have few of them i line it up over there and uh, i have only one um mung beans plant it survived so the other mung bean plant did not survive so i replaced with winter squash i have i do believe five those are winter squash and my snow peas as you can see there's some flowers and my snow peas are sweet peas Soon it's gonna bear some vegetables or produce and this is it guys as you can see the 
garden I have it's like it's kind of messy I'm still figuring it out how to reorganize this so every year uh, I've learned something how to organize my garden so this is my raised bed garden I have tomato there's uh, those are tomato from uh, seeds that I just throw over there and they grow and I add and again some marigold flowers to attract the bees or other flying bugs and that's a Swiss collar I have some fuse of them another tomato a Roma tomato and some green onions from seeds so it looks like right now like that and more leafy vegetable those are okra that i have to transfer that to my uh, in-ground garden and that is beet i only have one a mature one the rest are still small and tiny some leafy vegetables i think that's a bok choy uh, kale another kale and that is um Lettuce, that is uh, squash, which is the zucchini. So I'm germinating there and I'll move that to my in-ground garden because I do believe it's more healthier in the in-ground because last year I did that. And have some few plants on a pot, a fabric pot. As you can see, that is two of my cucumbers that did not really survive. I, don't, I think I overwatered them so in every plant there's a different way how to take care of it so tomatoes is also not like too much water and i do believe cucumber too so that's what happened and that's one of my zucchini that i put in a pot fabric pot and some of my green beans i'm hoping that they will survive and they can bear some fruits or vegetables my blueberry plant and potato plants of course another set of potato plants and a fabric um, pot and that's my carrots I'm hoping that it will have carrots underneath of it and my eggplant I have two eggplants only as always I wanted to have just two since I'm the only one who's eating it oh no 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 I'm wrong my husband also eats some eggplant, especially in the pork sinigang as in one of the ingredients I add on it. And there you go, some of tomato plants. Those are given from a friend. Shout out to Jamkat. She also have a channel. And I just got two because I have few some of my tomato plants. There you go, guys. So this is my garden, raised bed garden have some green onions it's all over like everything in my raised bed garden as of now I'm still learning how to do it and that's one of the tomatoes that my husband bought which is a home slice tomato and that's the cucumber bush so as you can see they're on the pot because I only have a little space in my backyard and I love gardening I'm just hoping that one day I will get a bigger backyard and plant more plants that I want to plant and consume in my daily life. <laughs> Another plant in a pot, which is the green bell pepper. As you can see, it has a bell pepper now. That is so exciting. A tiny plant bearing <laughs> bell pepper now. And there's another one here too still on a big pot and it has already one bell pepper you see that guys so cute so adorable to look at it did not really like i think the height of that is about like five inches and this is my jalapeno i have some few uh, flowers i'm hoping that soon it's gonna bear it will survive it will bear some fruit not fruit but jalapeno chili and i have some tomato i plant some seeds over there and it's growing now so i need to transfer that to the ground and that's it my 
jalapeno and this one is my my strawberry pot. strawberry pot i bought some admire because the wild strawberries that i have is not really bearing some fruits i don't know what's going on but i'm just being thankful for having this and another blue berry plants this one is i'm not sure if there's gonna be so high or uh, it will come back to life again but this is really good it's showing more leaves now i can't wait to bear some blueberries this is for today as of that day hope you guys enjoy watching this video and the content please let me know what you think about this video and feel free to leave comments and if you like this video please like and share with your loved ones until next time and god bless everyone bye as of now